Leah Bailey on Mom Talk Radio. As many of you know, I uh, I founded a small little event about five years ago called National Moms Night Out, and uh, it quickly grew into an event now, the Thursday night before Mother's Day every single year, that attracts over 11 million moms. It must mean that we really, really needed a, a night out, right? Well, this year, I am so excited because... Sony is releasing a movie that I have seen no fewer than four times. I was privileged enough to go to Alabama and actually watch the filming one night into the wee hours of the morning. It's called Mom's Night Out, and it will be released May 9th in conjunction with National Mom's Night Out. So we're all going to go out and support it because it's an awesome, awesome movie. And I am delighted today to have with us one of the directors, John Irwin. He and his brother, Andrew, directed and co-wrote the movie. He's here today to talk to us a little bit about it. So welcome, John, to Mom Talk Radio. Hey, thank you, Maria. Thanks for having me. Hey, and I want to just say this. Your wife is awesome, and I know Isn't that she? you um, involved her in writing this, but both you and uh, Andrew have the most awesome wives, and it's so yeah, cool that they're involved. It's so cool that they were able to be a part of this, too, because that was really the whole reason that I made the movie was, um, you know, they, they call the business and you know, entertainment kind of the rage of the inarticulate, meaning that, you know, us as artists, you know, we can't communicate things very well in real life, so we kind of infuse it into our art. And, you know, I was just, you know, in awe of my wife and how hard she works, how important what she does is. And, you know, it, it, it's one of the most awesome, special, meaningful, yet maddening, stressful things, you know, to raise. We have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and, and a newborn. And I just wanted her to know how special I thought she was. And I wanted a chance for us to kind of laugh at our own calamity and laugh together at the things we get wrong, you know. And so... Um, I read this script, and I, and I just fell in love with it, and then I had a bunch of ideas for it and wanted to rewrite it and make it bigger, and I'm just so grateful that um, that, that feeling that, that I had for my wife can be extended to, to so many others, and that's the whole point is it's a really empowering movie, and it's hysterical, and you laugh, and, oh. and you also cry, and you cry and laugh at the same time, and it's this beautiful thing that I hope every mom out there feels like, hey, someone stood up and said that, I was important, and I'm encouraged to keep doing what I'm doing. So that, that's really why I made the movie. And so when we made, when we were filming, I was like, you know, I want my wife involved in this. And so she got to yeah. hang out a lot, and she was, of course, my main consultant on the script. And, in fact, right. um, you know, all, all before the movie, as the Irwin house would get totally out of control, as it does often, I'd be like, I'm putting this in the movie. I'm putting this in the yeah. movie, you know. Well, you so know, it's an honest story. That's, um, that's what's so cool about it. So I have seen it four times now. I'm going to see it again Tuesday night. Um, wow. And, and um, you know, I have never, ever, maybe The Graduate and um and gone with the wind i've seen more than yeah. twice okay so this is the first movie i've ever seen this many times every wow. like i can still can sit there and watch the movie and get like goosebumps at certain points or i mean laugh out loud we've had over 300 mom bloggers go and see the pre-screenings of this movie and right. people will that's the thing they say is like I laughed out loud. It's not overdone. And I'm just wondering, how did you not take those chaotic moments? I mean, so many people like take chaotic moments in a family life and make them too silly. Like you're like, oh, yeah. this is too silly. But yours are real. You know, I think we recognize when, when movies aren't honest and when someone's just trying to make a buck. But mm -hmm. uh, this is absolutely comes from my true life. Everything in this movie has happened to me in some way, shape, or form, you know. And uh, I don't know what that says about my parenting skills once you see the movie. But, but I love right. my kids. I love my wife. We love our kids. But, you know, life's just not perfect. And, and, and it, you can either laugh or cry about it. And sometimes when you detach, just kind of look at it, look at the situation, you're like, this is really funny, you know. Right. And so... The idea was just to infuse the movie with that kind of honest humor that we all relate to and say, you know, we're all doing the best we can, and, and that's the wonderful thing about life is, is we don't need to be perfect. Uh, you know, we just need to love, love, love our kids and love each other, and that's really the theme of the movie. And so it has an honesty to it, I think, and that's what people respond to. And it's, it's not really about trying to make people laugh. I think it's just about being honest about your own life and honest about your own experiences. And, and that stuff's really funny. Right. And so we well, and then you got the funny movie. people, though, in it. I mean, I don't know how you put together the group of just really good actors and actresses and good people. They all have a good heart. 
Yeah, exactly. That's the key. Is you know, there's a difference between having like movie stars in your movie, which we certainly do, and having a great cohesive cast. And uh, the beauty of this movie is we literally got everyone we wanted. Everyone in the movie. Not only are they stars, you know. Uh, you know, obviously, like Patricia Heaton has won two Emmys and and one of the most popular women on television, uh, but they're all moms and 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 uh, and they're all passionate about it. So Sarah Drew, who's on Grey's Anatomy, she's experiencing toddlerdom with the rest of us, you know, and that that right. comes out in the movie. And you know, Patricia Heaton's uh, production company, and she was one of the companies in the movie. She's an executive producer. It's called Four Boys Entertainment after their four boys, you know, and and uh, you know, Sean Astin has daughters and. So we're all in this together, and, and we're all, again, trying to be the best parents we can be, love our kids the best we can, and survive the chaos. That's pretty <laughs> funny that you have out. somebody, you have Patricia Heaton with four boys, and you have Trace Atkin with four girls. Like, that's kind of yeah. weird, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Trace is so, so good in the movie, and he has daughters, you know, and that's the thing. It, it's, it's all, it's so relatable, and you can feel that honesty on screen. You can feel that all these people are passionate about this issue, and, um, um, and passionate about telling, you know, this movie, some people make movies for themselves. You know, I'm an artist and I want to make this piece of art. Look, we're not like that at all. It's like this movie is for everyone. It's for you. It's for my wife. It's for everyone that sits in those seats. And I, and I hope that on May 9th and on Mother's Day, women will go to this movie and just laugh out loud, which is, you know, laughter is medicine and be encouraged and feel affirmed. Like, hey, someone gets me out there and um. someone made a movie that says I'm important. You know, that's the goal of this. And so this is a gift. This is a gift to my wife. It's a gift to you and everyone like you. And, uh, and well, I hope we're, that, uh, we are, we're going to all band together and we're going to support this movie and we're going to show the rest of the world, including the entertainment world. We're going to promote the heck out of it here on mom talk radio. So thank you, John. Thank you so much. Uh, and thanks for your support and I'd love for you to like us on our Facebook page. We got some great videos that we're making some really cool announcements that are very soon coming. So we look forward to continuing the conversation. Most of all, thank you for your support. Um, you make it a movie. I, I can just make a film and it sits on a shelf. But you and everyone like you supporting it is well, what makes it a movie. And, uh, and thank you so much. Thank you.